My name is Nir Barzilai. I'm a professor of genetics and medicine at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, where I'm heading the Institute for Aging Research that is the home of two uh, centers of excellence on the biology of aging. I've been interested in aging research really uh, all my life. The biology of aging was really fascinating for me. How, how come the old people are the people who have the diseases? And I was trained in the area of diabetes and metabolism, which was a good uh, place to me uh, to start. But then I came to Einstein. And at Einstein, I uh, started uh, to do my research to involve other people in this complex phenotype of aging. You know, it's not about uh, longevity for me. It's about health span. Uh, I think aging gets a bad name because people get sick at the end of their lives and sometimes for a long period of time at the end of their life, between five and eight years. They deteriorate to diabetes, to Alzheimer's, to cancer uh, and, and other age-related diseases. And uh, it's important to know that uh, there is a capacity to delay aging and by that delay the diseases of aging. So if somebody wants to live longer and live healthier for longer, um, which means if average lifespan is now less than 80, we want to get over 80, then there are clearly environmental things that we, we learn and, and we are trying to do. And I would say that number one is exercise, and some, number two is diet, you know, prevent obesity, and then there are all the, the clear things that you shouldn't do, like uh, cigarette smoking and, 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 and other things. So if you do that, you're pretty much on your way to a better uh, health. But not everybody has the capacity to go on without drugs that will target actually the biology of aging. And I'll be showing some of those efforts that has been done in the field um, that have been uh, harmonized and some of the development in humans that show that this can be easily translated. I'm going to show several genotypes that are lipid genotypes that have properties um, not only um, are they, they are associated with aging, but they prevent several age-related diseases, including Alzheimer's. I'm going to talk about the growth hormone IGF axis and to show that most of our centenarians have deficiency in this axis. In other words, they don't, they don't manufacture as much growth hormone and its hormones, and it protects them. I'm also going to give the example of metformin that has been preventing lots of age-related diseases independently and show how we're going to use it as a tool for the FDA to approve aging as an indication. We have a capacity to live 115 years. We die now before the age of 80. Uh, we accumulate lots of diseases in their treatment. We can do much better than that and we have a, a proof that it can work.